almost a week after so-called voter gate, Secretary Reagan was not ready to take full personal responsibility for the disaster that left voters in line until past midnight. I certainly, you know, obviously, I certainly wish that we had said, should you, you should consider 90, maybe you should consider 100. A visibly but flustered I Secretary Reagan confirmed this morning her office did know that Maricopa County only had 60 polling places, but no one in her office was alarmed or concerned by that fact, and her office never advised county officials. I did not second guess the county decision or the Board of Supervisors decision. Because we don't have the statutory authority to direct the counties as far as voting locations. But the law says otherwise. ARS 16248 says, if it is determined by the Secretary of State that compliance with state and federal regulations would be jeopardized, the Secretary of State has the authority to release a county from the number of polling places prescribed by this section. Had we mentioned that, the counties have no obligation to even consider what the Secretary of State offers. We have no jurisdiction over what the counties but do regarding polling places. Reagan continued to deflect blame throughout the press conference and tiptoed around accepting personal responsibility for the voting fiasco. I believe we're all in this together, absolutely, and I take responsibility for the fact that election officials did not pull off the election that voters deserve. And Secretary Reagan did say the areas most affected were Maryvale, South Phoenix, Tempe, and Gilbert, and that her office would be having public meetings in each of those areas in the weeks to come. Ben Marjot, Cronkite News.